Hi, my name is Jess Riesma, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the solar motion simulator that I developed. I developed this in the spring and summer of 2021 in order to teach my astronomy students how to better understand how the sun moves in the sky and how its motions change depending on where the observer is, their latitude, what time of day it is, and then also how it changes uh, during different times of year. Let's see how the solar motion simulator works. There are many things that you can adjust. One of them is the observer's latitude. The observer's latitude is indicated on here by numerous different angles, such as 80 degrees north, zero degrees, i.e. the equator, uh, 80 degrees south. By rotating this disk so that this part right here goes to one of these latitudes, you can set the observer's latitude. So for instance, here is about 40 degrees north latitude, or here would be 40 degrees south latitude. The solar declination is related to the time of the year, where Earth is in its orbit. On approximately March 21, and approximately on September 21, the equinoxes, the sun has a solar declination of approximately zero degrees. On approximately June 21, it has a solar declination of 23.5 degrees. And in roughly December 21, the sun's declination is negative 23.5 degrees. We can simulate the sun's motion through the sky on a daily basis by changing the time of day after setting the solar declination as appropriate and the observer's latitude as appropriate. So for this example, I'm going to let it be about 15 degrees north latitude. That's where the observer is. And I'm going to go through a whole day. This is going to be at a solar declination of zero degrees, so appropriate for either the spring or the fall equinox, March 21-ish or September 21-ish. So at midnight, we start here where this time is, you know, uh, midnight. Then we fast forward time until this crosses the east-west line, or when it goes from behind this disk, the horizon uh, disk, to above the horizon disk. That's happening about here. And if you notice, that's happening at 6 a.m. because on the equinoxes, the sun rises at 6 a.m. And this is gonna be true no matter what latitude you're at. Then if I fast forward the time of day, the sun is going to be moving up through the horizon and it's going to be at its highest uh, altitude, the highest angle in the sky at noon. And then as the day begins to go to the afternoon, that time is going to get later and later. And eventually the sun is going to pass from in front of the disk here to behind the disk. And this is happening at approximately 6 p.m. Then, after 6 p.m., after sunset, the sun continues moving in its orbit around this disk, but it's behind this, the horizon. This represents the sun not being visible to us anymore. That about covers it. I hope that this lesson has been useful for you and that this papercraft model has helped you understand how the sun's path throughout the sky during the course of a day changes based on the observer's latitude and based on the time of the year. If you like this, please consider printing one out. Try it on your own. You can do that at my website.